Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. We're here with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about what's new in the recently released DxO Photo Lab 6 and whether you should upgrade to it. In case you didn't know, DxO Photo Lab 6 is the end-to-end -end raw solution made by DxO. And it's a well-renowned company, mostly known for creating the DxO Mark entity, which rates cameras, lenses, and smartphones. So DxO has a long established brand name in photography and when DxO releases a product, I'm always eager to know what they're up to. So DxO Photo Lab 6 costs 219 USD and its upgrade price is 99 USD. So what are the main improvements this time around? We start off with better noise reduction. So Photo Lab 6 now has an improvement over their noise reduction technology called Deep Prime which they call Deep Prime XD. So let's just quickly demo this. So you can see in this panel right here, in their denoising panel, there is a new entry called Deep Prime XD. That's supposed to be the latest and greatest version. And uh, you can see that it does work if I actually use this magnifier tool. So you can see here, this image actually is cleaned up pretty much. Now they still have the Deep Prime here, the older Deep Prime. And you can see there's a tad more noise than in D Prime XD, which is a lot cleaner. So I'm not gonna go into the details. So if you're interested in a more thorough comparison be between D Prime XD and the older D Prime, do check out my video. I actually even have a slideshow comparison so you can judge for yourself. But to summarize the results, there is a minor improvement, especially for images like this with our large areas of noise. So D Prime XD will actually clean this up pretty well. So this is the original version. This is the Deep Prime noise reduction result, and this is the Deep Prime XD noise reduction result. Deep Prime, Deep Prime XD. So let's move on to the second improvement, which is perspective correction. So, just as a reminder, if you ever go to Photo Lab 5, so this is Photo Lab 5 now, you can see in their older geometry panel, you can see that they do not have any perspective correction. And I did criticize this when I did my top five raw editor review. I did mention that that was one major feature that was lacking in PhotoLab. So what you could do is simply correct barrel distortion, pin cushion. So you can see as if I increase the intensity, there's not much you can do with regards to the perspective distortion here. However, if you go to PhotoLab 6, you can see that when I go to the geometry panel, you can now have automatic perspective correction. So if I just turn that on, it will actually do the correction automatically. And of course you can adjust that manually. So let's do that. So let's say I have an image like this, which needs a little bit of perspective correction. You can just simply do the vertical distortion correction with this slider right here. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. So that's a, a big improvement right there. And then you can crop it like so here. Let's just crop this image like so. So talking about the crop tool, PhotoLab 6 now includes rotation, integrated rotation. So you can actually just drag your mouse horizontally and you can see that it'll actually do the rotation. Okay, now it's not the smoothest thing in the world compared to Lightroom, which is uh, really real time, but um, it's decent. If you don't like that behavior, you could also use the horizon tool right here, which will do more or less the same thing. All right, so another major improvement for PhotoLab 6 is improved healing and cloning. So if you need to refine the area you're healing or cloning, there's no need to make a new selection. So PhotoLab 6 now makes it a lot easier. But first, let's remind ourselves how PhotoLab 5 did it. So here we are in PhotoLab 5. So you notice that when you go into the tab here, you have what you call a repair tool. Okay, so if you click on this tool, you'll see that there's no, there's not much options available. You do have a size, feathering. And so if you just move over that, it will just clear it. That's all the options that you really have. Okay, so not much optionality there, pretty limited functionality. But now, but with PhotoLab 6, let's now go to PhotoLab 6. So let's now go to PhotoLab 6. So now we're here in PhotoLab 6. Let's see the improvements for this repair tool. So we're gonna go to the detail tab here. And now they do not call it repair, they call it retouch. And so if I click on this tool, you can see now there's a lot more options here, all right? So if I increase the size here, let's just remove this. 
and let's just uh, remove these wires here. Okay, so now you have this functionality similar to other photo editors like Lightroom. Okay, so you can now move this thing here. The new thing here, which differentiates this from other raw editors, is you can actually add and remove from this selection without creating a new selection. So all you have to do is just click Add Stroke here and just, just, just add to the selection. Very intuitive implementation. If I want to erase from this selection, you could do that as well. Okay, so that's really effective. So I can add more to this as well here if you wish. Okay, let's just get rid of this wire here. Okay, so again, you can move this like so, but you can also transform it. So let's just transform this now and then move it like that. So if you want your selection to be something like this, right, you could do that as well. You can also do flips. You can flip the selection, right, and can reset it as well. So that is pretty useful. So the final improvement that you're going to get with Photo Lab 6 has to do with color labels. So let me just demonstrate that. So you go to the photo library here. Let's just pick a folder with a lot of images. All right, so now you could actually add color labels to this. And it's uh, pretty well implemented as I'm going to demonstrate in a moment. So for color labels, all you have to do, you can just right click this and just set a color label. There are some shortcuts here like Control Alt 5. Okay, so let's say I want to set this as with a red label. So I'll just say Control Alt 1. And there you go. So very nicely implemented. You can clearly see the label being attached to it. I think that's very useful if you're browsing through a lot of photos. Let's have another one here. Let's say this one here. So Control Alt 1. Yeah, that's useful. And you can, of course, search through this. Say I'll say 1 Control Alt 1, like so. And if you want to get rid of it, just say Control Alt 0 so to get rid of that okay now what's interesting about this is the the searching of this is well thought out so for example I want to see only the red labels you can go to this filter option here and just choose red like so and you're gonna see all the red labeled images show up okay but not only that you could also search for it right here so you could also search for the labels in a search box so, okay so if I go to search images and if I type here red, let's say red, you can see that one of the options is search for the red labels, not just search for the red file name. Click on that. That's going to show up right there. Okay, so very well done implementation for those who need this type of functionality. So that brings us to the conclusion, do I recommend this upgrade? Well, for users of Photolab 5, and I am one of them, I actually don't think the features here are compelling enough for me to recommend an upgrade. Now, what are the reasons for this? Well, first, the Headline Deep Prime XD is an improvement, but it is just a minor improvement. So if you look at my detailed video comparison, I said that you don't see the benefits in all the images. Only images where you had a lot of noisy backgrounds, like noisy skies, would show some slight improvement. Now, of course, we are very grateful for that improvement, and it's still very impressive given that Deep Prime is already very good. But honestly speaking, improvement is too small to justify the upgrade. With regards to the perspective correction, that is essential, and that will probably be the main reason I would upgrade. But uh, the thing is, I do have other raw editors with that feature already built in. So you have to ask yourself whether you want to pay 100 US dollars for a feature which maybe some of your other raw editors already support. With regards to object removal, again, it's a very well implemented tool. But personally, I don't use a lot of object removal in my editing, so I don't really need this option. In general, if you're a user of Photolab 5, I don't think the upgrade is essential for most users. However, if you're a user of Photolab 4, I think the feature gap might be big enough to worth the 100 USD. So to summarize, I recommend this upgrade if you are a user of Photolab 4 or below. Users of Photolab 5, maybe not so. So there you have it. That's my take for DxO Photolab 6. If you've used an older Photolab product, do let me know in the comments if you are upgrading or not upgrading or whether you agree or disagree with anything on this video. I'd love to hear from you. 
Also, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.